well, you have an incredible market, but with the incredible market just comes a whole different group of challenges, doesn't it? Okay, has a whole different group of challenges. So I'm gonna recommend that you just don't fight those challenges and go with them. And that means that you need to spend time every day creating a pipeline of inventory. You can create, look at, as more and more people get vaccinated, as you know, it, the more and more consumer confidence, they're, and they're estimating anywhere from 15 to as much as 28, 30% of people uh, that are gonna do something aren't right now. And California is one of the most locked up states. So you'd probably be up on the high scale of that. That means when people start feeling more confident, they're gonna start doing something, listing their property, moving, whatever. But if you don't have, if you're only running around with buyers right now and being one of 72 offers, yeah, I'm joking, one of five <laughs> offers or whatever, you know, you, you, you're going to limit yourself. Now, you will still have an incredible, because we're going to go on a few year run here, a few years more run, I should say, uh, before things even consider to start to change, especially since now, you know, this is not a political statement. It's just a fact, okay? Uh, especially since now, since Joe Biden is going to be president, the media, okay, who hate Trump, love him. Well, I think they love anybody who's not Trump, but let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, with, you know, remember because we've lost jobs and all those jobs are going to come back in. So not only is the market incredible, not only is the interest rates incredible, the media is also going to help because they're going to make it look even better than it is. Okay. Sometimes they don't tell you the truth to the negative. Sometimes they don't tell you everything to the positive, but the next four years, you know, that, uh, they're going to help out because now we have Joe Biden in, in, uh, in the, in office. So all those things added up say you have an incredible playing field, but it doesn't matter if you're not taking advantage of it. So what do you need to do to take advantage of it? I would say focus on things that work. Okay, taking inventory, taking listings is something that definitely works. So what can you do to do that? Well, you know, you can call your sphere. And I think everybody should call their sphere at least four to five times a year, check in. It's almost like reverse prospecting today. You check in, see how things are going. Of course, they're going to bring up real estate because they know what you do. All right. And then you get into, yeah, you know, the market's hot. Because a lot of people don't think the market's hot. A lot of people think it's been affected negatively with all these jobs and everything we're losing. But ultimately, it hasn't. All right. So check in with everybody. Okay. So the main lead sources to get, um, real, to get listings are your sphere. Everyone should be working on that. Okay. The second one would be expired listings. However, you do in there. I know that some you have some challenges with that. Uh, for sale by owners is another place. Um, you know, my farm just listed, just sold calls. In this type of market, just sold calls are incredibly effective. And now, if you if you don't know what that is, I'll I'll give you the script. If you look in my book of everything, there's a script that goes like this. Hi, this is Rick Barabee with Berkshire Hathaway. Although I use your name, not mine. Uh, we just sold a home in your neighborhood over on Oak Street. There's four bedrooms, three baths, just sold for $750,000. We know when one home in a neighborhood sells, usually a few more. And so the question is, how about you folks? Do you have plans on moving? Right? That's how you get into the No, you don't. Perfect. You know what? I wouldn't either. It's such a great neighborhood. That's why I'm calling it. So how long have you guys lived there? You lived here 20 years. 20 years? That's incredible. Where'd you guys move from? You're just having, getting into conversation with people with open-ended questions. By the way, I'm sure Gina has told you 87 times, but I'm going to tell you again, I'm doing success series this week for the lovely people of California, well, Arizona and Nevada, on Google Hangouts. So if you really want a, you know, uh, course on how to take inventory, take my class because I talk a lot about that because I believe, I've been, look, I've been in real estate for 36 years. I got licensed at nine. No, I'm kidding. I just turned 56. I've been licensed since 19, 19 years old. It's all I've ever done. High school, two years of college, and then I got into real estate. I was actually in real estate before I even finished my two years of college. It made sense to me. It's a great business. When I got in the business, I used to jokingly, <laughs> all right, don't take this the wrong way. I used to jokingly say this, that um, the average age of a realtor was partially deceased. Okay. Yeah. You can, yeah. Right. So, cause I was 19. And the average age of my office was like 60 something. So I, I used to jokingly say the average age of my office, now I'm 56, 60 isn't old anymore because I'm almost there. 70 isn't old anymore, right? So, you know, I was telling Forrest this too. I'm pointing over here because he, he has your office right next to me. I was saying, Forrest, you know what's great about being in the real estate business for 36 years and being 56? He goes, what? I go, 
I'm still two years away from the average age of a realtor. <sighs> Let that sink in. All right. So, <clears throat> so my point is in saying that is, you know, we, <laughs> this, you know, take my course, let me go through all, because I've weeded out all the things that don't work. All right. That's the one good thing about taking my classes. I don't talk about anything. I don't even talk about stuff that's marginally good. I talk about the stuff that actually works. You can add the fluff, your personality and all that to it, but I'll take you through how to be successful in real estate. And the one thing that I did pretty well was take listings because I firm and look at guys, I come from a market when I was selling, there was 1100 realtors in my market for about 2,500 transactions a year. 350,000 people in my marketplace for nine little towns. Now it's not the same anymore, but that's how it was when I was selling. I made a living off my sphere and doing just sold calls. Made them all day, every day. You knew about people three, six, nine months ahead of time. That's how you want to be right now. Especially with the inventory. You guys live in an area where baby boomers, I mean, think about it. They own their, pro they're moving to you, a lot of them coming from LA, and but, but people own their property. They're into them really good. As soon as start, things start to loosen up, people are going to start moving around a little bit more. Even if it's just sideways or downsizing or upsizing, you're going to see a lot of that happen uh, very shortly. And especially, like I said, you guys are one of the most locked up states. As people become more confident and safe and feel safe, you're going to see even more of that. So what is your plan to take listings? Because every one of you should have one of those. What's your plan? You know, I can do that. My simple math says this. It's actually Mike Ferry math. I learned it years ago. It's absolutely critical, unbelievably how well it works. Even if you don't like Mike Ferry, it's okay. Um, I worked with Tom for years too, and I love Brian Buffini stuff. That's why my success series is a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of mine. And, and more than half of it is thousands of agents I've coached, okay, that gave me great ideas. Like I didn't know anything about social media seven years ago. I didn't even have a Facebook page up until six years ago or Instagram or Twitter, you know, or now I'm on TikTok. Can you imagine that? I told Sydney, I said, I'll be on TikTok, but I'm not dancing. Don't even ask me, not doing it. I said that about a lot of things that I currently do, by the way. Like you will never see me doing videos is one of the things I said. I do videos all, I do videos like all the time now. So you just got to get outside your comfort zone and understand that if you want, plus it makes you, I mean, I'm going to tell you something, you feel really good about yourself when you put yourself through a little uncomfortable phase and it affects your business positively. You always feel great about yourself. I always felt great after I had my conversations of prospecting every day. Just like when you leave the gym, even on the days you don't feel like going to it, you go anyway. All right. And then on the way home, you feel absolutely fabulous about yourself. It's the same thing with prospecting. Okay, that's why I recommend you do both of those. Okay, here's the problem. My son, yeah, he's not a problem. <laughs> I'm going to use him as an example. My son's 16, my youngest son. Okay, he lives with me at home. He's in, he's in high school. Well, he's at home at high school, you know, because uh, Nevada, we don't go to school yet. Just like a lot of you guys don't either. But it's very shortly, like they sent me an, a, a message yesterday. Hey, your son needs a vaccine update of this before he comes back to school. I was like, when's that happening? Well, they're not telling you that, but they're, they're getting ready. So I don't know if they're going to open up a little bit before the end of the year or what's going to happen, but they're talking about something. But we go to the gym every morning together early. He goes before school. I go before work. Right. So last week he says to me, you know, uh, dad, he goes, look at this place. We're leaving. He goes, look at the parking lot. This is crazy. This wasn't like this last year. It's only been since I go, his name's Bodie. I go, Bodie, relax. Uh, it's the second week of January, the January 18th, which is Monday. Everything will be back just like it was in December, which is kind of a, I feel bad saying that, but it's true. Like everything that you want in your life, in your business, in your personal life, and your health and is just one habit away. But you have to commit to the process of creating the new habit. Now, it's sad that it's the 18th of January, because think about it. How many days does it take to create a new habit? 21 to 30. And I wouldn't say that's a new habit. I would say that's the beginning of a new habit. And most people that done, I didn't make this up. I read it. Most gyms know by the 18th of January, it just happens to be a Monday this year, that you're going to stop coming, even though you signed up, told the world, I am going to get in shape this year. This is the one. I'm going to get it done in 2021. And then the 18th of January comes and you go, not getting out of bed this one day. You know, I'm just not going to do it. 
So it's sad because you're just days away if you've been doing it for two weeks to creating the beginning of a new habit. Even your brain, because until you create those new neural pathways in your brain, your brain doesn't like anything new. It likes familiar. So as soon as you create something new, you can get through a week or two because I told everybody, I'm going to do it. Ah. And then all of a sudden you start fighting yourself on an unconscious level and it usually takes over unless you know why it happens. And that's why I'm bringing this up. My little book, Success as a Verb, is pretty much all about that. I call it habit replacement therapy. Even my wife, the nurse practitioner, said to me, what book? One day she finally said to me, what book did you steal that out of? What medical book? I go, I didn't steal that out of a medical book. I made that up. Habit replacement therapy is my own medical term that I created. It's not really medical. It means you have to physically take the body through the motions, even while you're kicking and screaming like a little baby, and create the new habit. And then when the new habit's created, then you don't, then you can go on autopilot. You know, your brain doesn't care. It wants familiar. So you have to take the time to create a new familiar for yourself. So whether that's, okay, I love talking to my sphere. I love working my farm, but I want to do a couple more deals. Great. Call, call a couple of fizzballs, go visit them. You know, maybe you Turn it up on your social media. Do something that makes you a little uncomfortable and create a new habit in your business. Here's my areas. My personal life, my business, my spiritual life, my health, and my mindset. Those are my five areas. You could have more, but though I figure that most, like if I want to save more money, well, that goes into business. Well, I want to start going to church. Well, that goes into spiritual. You know, I want to change my diet, health. I want to start reading mindset. I want to have better relationships with my kids, my spouse. That's my personal life. So all of those, to me, they all fit into there. Uh, and then if you come up with a little goal for each one, no, no more than one for each area until you get that down, then you can change it. I guarantee you, you will get it done in 2021. It's going to be a great year, guys. I mean, everything is lining up. The only thing that's not is inventory. It'd be nice to have a little bit more inventory, but that goes with a great market, climbing appreciation, all that stuff. Here's the other thing too. We, Gina, would you say in your market that you've just recently uh, exceeded the values of the last peak, 2007, 2008? Haven't you guys passed that? Just barely, right? Like it's not a whole bunch, but it's deep, but it's a, but it's a it's little close. bit above where the last peak was. Would you agree with that? It's close, yes. Yeah, so it's either close or right at. Now, what happens typically, because a lot of people are saying, oh, the train's coming. We're going to have foreclosures. We're gonna... What normally happens when we get at or close to the last peak? Anybody want to guess? It's happened the last two times. Just like the stock market. We meet it and exceed it by like 35 to 50%. That's what's happened the last two times. Now, is that going to happen this time? I don't know why it wouldn't. But something like that is going to happen, and that doesn't that won't happen in a year or two. It will take three or four years. You know, when you start seeing no income verification, no, I mean, when you start seeing all those crazy loans and people own two or three houses, and then you know the market's about ready to crash. But it's very wholesome. It's very healthy. It's arm's length. Most of the people competing aren't investors. They're homeowners. So you're going to see this go on for a while. So you have to have a plan for taking listings is my point. Working with buyers is easy, but I would set my buyers up. Marianne, listen, if you want to buy a home today, here's what you got to realize. You're going to be one of five offers. You're going to have to pay over asking. All right, I'm going to go through the whole thing with them. I want to try to scare them. If they're not willing to do that, why would I want to spend my time educating them on losing three to four homes? Why not just educate them from the beginning? Well, we don't believe that. Okay, have fun. <laughs> You don't need to compete for buyers right now. If you're talking to three buyers and one of them is willing to do that, now you're going to get paid. And you can, it's not only getting paid, it's helping them. I don't like uh, working with people that, uh, you know, like right now, I'm waiting for the prices to come down. Okay, great. I'll call you in five years. Right? I mean, the prices aren't coming down next week, guys, next, next year. They're just, that's not going to happen. There's nothing out there that says that. All right. So how about questions? Any questions? about getting it done in 2021. Come on, don't be shy. I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm telepathetic, telepathic, but I want to hear you ask it first.
Wow, I, they're speechless, Gina. I guess so. Don't be shy, guys. Any listing questions you have? Maybe something that you tried to do or something you're trying to get creative with? Um, throw it out there. All right, does everybody in here have a goal of doing more business in 2021? All right, okay, so here's the question I, you need to ask yourself. Uh, do you expect to say the same as you were in 2020 and do more business? No, you can't, you have to change. So the question is, what are you going to change based on what we just talked about? And I'm gonna tell you guys, I know you're in California. You, you, you know what I call California agents compared to, well, Scottsdale is actually catching up to you in price, um, but especially in Nevada, I call it high average sale price disease. Just because your, your sale price is so high, you think you can afford bad habits. I'm telling you, if you don't have bad habits, like for instance, have your conversations per day and do, you know, and set yourself up to do multiple deals, right? It's nice to have two or three pending at a time, four, five. It's nice to, it's nice to feel that, right? But in order to do that, you have to be having conversations. You can't be a secret agent. So decide where you, you know, I was on, I just did office meeting with Aldo. Gina knows Aldo. He's one of our managers from, from the uh, Las Vegas area. He said to me, Rick, if, you, if they could do one thing this year to change their real estate career, what would it be? I go, I love that question. It's like the magic answer. If there, there is no magic answer in real estate, but if there was, this would be it. If I, want, if I, if I sold 10 homes this year and I want to sell 20 homes, well, tw I sold 10 homes in 2020 and I want to sell, uh, let's say 20 homes. Is that possible? Yes. Going from 10 to 20, doubling your business? Yes. What do you have to do to get there? You've got to have 10 additional conversations per day in one of the five lead sources that I mentioned, all right? Five days a week, 60 days a work quarter, 240 work days in a year. And you will do your goal with, with energy and enthusiasm and expectation, of course. But you, you can do that if you're willing to commit to the process. Everything has a, look, now, I've been in the business for 10 years and Mike Ferry asked me to be in this mastermind group right before he asked me to be a, a coach, a one-on-one -on -one coach, which was very awesome. All right. And he asked me to be this mastermind group with some of the best agents in the, in, in the country and Canada. And we used to have speakers come in. Like Mike Ferry's event is this week, the week before, this is the productivity retreat. Back then it was called the one-on-one -on -one retreat. We would meet the weekend before. All right. And we would have speakers, like really good ones. Like our first one was Wayne Dyer. Like Wayne Dyer in a room with 30 people. That was amazing. He had just written the book, Manifest Your Destiny. And Wayne Dyer said, if you hold your goal in your mind, the universe will conspire to help you. Now, I was like, I don't know, what was like 20 something years old, maybe 30. And I am from New England. I hadn't been out of New England many times at that point. And I thought he was going to say, conspire against you. And you got to put your nose to the grindstone and you got to work. But that's not what he said. The universe conspired to help you. So you have to understand what your goal is. It has to have like juice to it. You have to have like an emotional attachment to it. Like it has to be important to you. What is your passion about doing it? You know, so it, it has to have that leverage on you. Now, once it, once that happens, six months later, okay, we had another speaker come in, Deepak Chopra. And Deepak was awesome. So was, I mean, they both were incredible. I had never, uh, I didn't hear, I, at that time, I had not heard of Deepak Chopra. As a matter of fact, I thought they said Tupac. I'm like, we have Tupac? No, Deepak. I'm like, uh, I thought we were having a hologram here of, you know, Tupac Shakur, but it wasn't. It was Deepak Chopra, and Deepak Chopra was amazing. He came out, you know, I'd like to thank you all for inviting me here to tell you what you already know. That's what, that was his opening line. And I was like, I love this guy. He, uh, he just started talking, and I love this guy. By the way, if you haven't read or listened to Wayne Dyer's book, Manifest Your Destiny, I would, okay? And if you haven't listened to Deepak Chopra's book, Reinventing, Resurrecting the Body, re, no, Reinventing the Body, Resurrecting the Soul. It's an incredible book, both of those guys. And all he talked about was the process guarantees the outcome. So understand the goal. I just gave you the process, number of conversations, Commit to it and you will achieve your goal again. And then th six months later, we had another guy, Michael Vance. Some of you may know who Michael Vance is. He was Walt Disney's right-hand man before 
Walt passed away and his, um, he wrote the book, coined the phrase, think outside the box. You should all read that one too by Michael Vance. And um, he talked about stop trying to be perfect before you take action. It's just an excuse not to take action. Came out on his walker. You know, like two of these guys are deceased now. Wayne's no, no, no longer with us and neither is Michael Vance. Deepak's still kicking it though. Uh, you know, came out on a walker, you know, it was like 80 something years old. And he was, as soon as he, you, you would think, okay, he's coming out on a walker. He's going to be a little meek. No, he wasn't <laughs> meek at all. He was like, <clears throat> and he talked about stop trying to be perfect. It's just an excuse not to take action. You will never be perfect. It'll never be perfect. There's never a perfect time. There's never, just take action and figure it out on the way. You know, I think it's the first time I heard the saying, you know, you know, ready, aim, fire. He said, fire, ready, aim. That's how you have to be. All right, so there you go. There's my talk, because I have to run over to do Facebook Live now. Gina, any final thoughts, questions? You guys are great. You guys, listen, it's never been a better time to be in real estate. There's never been a better time to be with the best name brand on the planet. And there's never been a better time to be with the world's best manager right there, Gina Teglin. So you guys are lucky. We're all lucky. It's a great environment. Thank you very much for inviting me, Gina. You guys keep rocking it. Woo! Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have an awesome Talk to day. you soon. Okay. There we go. That was, that was good. He said one thing that just resonates so much, and that word was habit. And, and, and that truly, our daily habits are going to totally decide what our outcome is going to be. And, and we have control of that. Um, let me share my screen. Actually, uh, before I do, I, I mean, let's take care of our affiliates who have hopped on and been so patient. Um, Karen, welcome, American Home Shield. Uh, you want to say hi to our team? Yes. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Just wanted okay. to give you guys a quick update on um, some new plans and pricing and products that are coming out on February 1st. I will be getting out... Um, some information to you guys in the offices as well. So um, we've been waiting and waiting for this, especially in the desert here. And it's something we've pushed and pushed for for you guys. And so we are gonna be having unlimited refrigerant coverage on our upgraded plan for air conditioning. So our upgraded plans, the Shield Complete plan, which most of you order anyway, is gonna include unlimited refrigerant coverage with all the home warranties you know, placed as of 2-1. So, Here's the clincher. I want to make sure that you guys understand. If you have something in escrow right now, closing after February 1st, wait until the 1st to order that. So let your TCs know that as well. Um, you know, I'm trying to communicate that to all the TCs that I work with as well. So just make sure that you know that. That way you can get the new plan with the included refrigerant coverage. Anything ordered prior to that date is not going to include it. It's going to go on the old pricing and the old plan. So I will be getting that out to you guys, and then I will also be emailing out an electronic copy to the office so that they can distribute to all the email addresses. So we will get that taken care of. In the meantime, reach out to me, please, one-on-one -on -one if you're writing an offer and you need pricing. Um, I'm happy to help on that and make sure you guys get the right pricing in there based on when you're closing. So I think pretty much anything written from here on out is probably going to be closing after the first, but I know there's always those cash buyers that come in and do seven 14 day escrows. So let me know on that. Um, reach out to me one on one. I'm happy to help. I'm kind of double dutying here on a training and also on meetings with you guys. But I wanted to make sure that you guys got that information in your meeting today. So I appreciate the time, Gina. I appreciate you guys and all of your support and your trust that you put in us. And uh, like I said, reach out to me individually if you have questions and need help with that. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Karen. We do appreciate you and we appreciate how fast you respond to any of our texts and inquiries. So absolutely. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Um, any questions for Karen? No. Okay. We're going to move on. I saw Yvonne Ramirez and that's a legendary escrow. Yvonne, welcome. Hi, Gina. Sorry, I, I'm on your guys' call later. I, I just got off Dwayne's call right now. Um, I just wanted to give a couple updates. Just make sure that you guys are looking out for the marketing items and escrow tips. If you guys have any questions or concerns to 
Um, any of those items that go out via email every week, you can respond to that email. It'll come directly to me. If there's anything that you guys are, are needing or requesting that you are receiving from another escrow company, we are more than happy to put something together for you. Uh, in addition, if there's any transactions that you guys currently have uh, that you need assistance with or if there's any, any um, questions or concerns you might have with, with that transaction, you are more than happy to reach out to me as well. I'll leave my information in your comment section for the meeting as well. Uh, in addition, I will be reaching out to each individual agent to see what we can do to increase our legendary escrow business with all of our agents all the way across the board for each office. Um, so please look out for that. In addition, I will give you guys a call. Um, so if you haven't utilized legendary escrow or if you are utilizing legendary escrow, you know what we can do to to make sure that we can increase our business all the way across the board for all of our five locations. Um, and thank you so much, Gina, for having me on your call today. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. It's always nice to have you. And thank you for um, all your problem solving skills and making things uh, better. So thanks, Yvonne. Thank you, Gina. Okay, I think that's it for right now. Is there. Let me um, share my screen so we can pull up. Actually, I think this is it there. And I press, can you guys see that? There. And I share from beginning. Okay. Can you all see my screen? I can't see anybody, so I don't know if you see it. Yes, it's muted. <laughs> All right, we're going to... Yeah, uh, I can see it. Oh, thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. I can okay, see it. so... Uh, thanks, Marianne. All right, so um, I do want to welcome him out of the back. Yay. And he's... Uh, <laughs> he's getting okay. stronger every day, so we're really glad to have you back. You. Is there anything you want to... No. no. Okay. All right. She'll have, she'll have something to report next, next Tuesday. Um, but I do want to tell you, thank you for December. We have some great numbers in December. Our listing totaled $7.6 million. And I just want to say congratulations to our listing agents, Jim, George Lopez team, Doris and Luffy, Wasserman Real Estate Group, Debbie Billman, Gary Morlock, Lynn and Jan, Lord Deborah, Mark's Real Estate Group, Maria Molina, Kitty Team um, got two, and Angie Torres got five. So congratulations to all our, our listing agents. It was a great month. On the sales side, look at that. We uh, actually closed $22.3 million worth of business the month of December. And so um, congratulations to all of you who closed escrow. We've got Josie and Nessie and Deborah and Jim, Connor, Sue. Kennedy team, Katie McLaren, woo -woo. Uh, Kathy and Jean, Ellen, Devern, Angie Torres uh, close to, Gloria close to, Alonzo close to, Meredith, Mark, Julia Barajas, Lourdes close to, Gary close to, Lisa close to, Bob and Judy Allen close to, George Lopez and Associates, Mark's Real Estate Group close five, Donna Ambrose closed two, Beverly closed, Maria closed three, and Ann closed three. So, wow, lots of business going on in December, and I just want to say congratulations. Let's take that flow and that energy and just really bring it into this um, new year because I, I see a really strong start in 2021, and I really want you all to be part of it. Um, and part of this is knowing your systems and knowing what to do and how to follow up, and, and I can't tell you, um, it, it's I want when I when I am coaching and I'm I'm talking to agents and I'll say hey let's let's pull it up on the VAC or let's let's do a buy side or how are your reports going and sometimes I, I get some um, not so well it just kind of it's a pause because I I don't think you realize just how much our systems actually do for you so. You know, Mark Stark, just so you know, he invests over $1,000 per month per agent on these systems. So these systems are phenomenal, and they do so much. And I want you to know, 
Um, it's going to help your business. And by utilizing these systems, you will get an extra three, four transactions just from the lead generating that's going on with them. So um, I don't know if any of you have seen the activity and tracking dashboard on the VAC, but when you click on the VAC and you go to the home tab, um, you can click on activity and tracking dashboard. This is like your personal secretary. You will be able to have it, and it's just a nice dashboard and it'll tell you, hey, these people here, you haven't spoken with in a while. Um, when you have a contact with one of your clients, there you can open that client's contact and there's a little spot there to keep track of your notes. So you can say, hey, I, um, I talked to Mary Ann today and she is going to call 50 people this week and she's hitting so many doors and she's doing X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to put those little notes there or I might get a note from Rick Berube saying, hey, those people coaching with me, here's their commitments for the week. So I can go through and look. So the next time I reach out and I contact Mary Ann, I'm going to say, hey, Mary Ann, good job in getting this done. Or, hey, how did it go? What do you need? How, you know, what was the feedback? So it really helps um, keep track. For you, you can do the same with your clients. Maybe you've got a client who says, I'm thinking about listing, but not for until the summer. So are, you're certainly not going to just ignore them for the next six months, right? You're going to want to put them on the neighborhood reports. You're going to want to get them on a quarterly report. You're going to want to have them on a drip system so they're constantly getting something from you. But the recommended follow-up section will tell you these are the people you've not spoken with in a while. And if, if, if you're not sure who to call, go to your VAC dashboard. I guess step one is make sure you've got your, all your contacts uploaded. Um, so that it starts working for you. And if you don't know how to do that, um, see me, see Imelda, see Chris Weeder. Um, but let's get those uploaded for you because it's, it's costing you money by not having them there. Um, habits. Rick, Rick Berube said habits today. This should be a daily habit. Logging into the VAC, going to your dashboard, looking who do I need to follow up with today and making your notes. It'll tell you how many active contacts you have. How many reports have been sent over the last week? I love the website activity. They can tell you who was in your website and what they looked at. Um, unsubscribe clients. Don't take this personally, guys. Sometimes people unsubscribe to emails. They unsubscribe to things that that's not a current need for them. Reach out, pick up the phone and just ask them, you know, just touch bases. You're not going to lose a friendship over it. You're going to say, hey, you know, I, I know I got to know that you unsubscribed. It was like, I need something too much. Um, oh, address it. And if they say, oh, my God, because a lot of times this has happened. I hit unsubscribe. I didn't mean to. Can you send it back to me so I can re-subscribe? And sometimes they say, oh. sometimes <laughs> they say, you know what? Yeah, I just get so much stuff. So, you know, I don't mind getting things once a quarter, but, you know, once a month or once a week is too much. Now you can adjust that person accordingly. Um, hot sheets, those are your saved searches. I barely go into Flex anymore. I'm constantly doing my searching through the um, VAC because it's just so much nicer. The clients can, um, it, they can utilize it a lot easier. It's very interactive and and they like it. And, and it, the look and feel is kind of like, Zillow, which we don't like Zillow, but the consumers do. The consumers like how it looks and how it feels. So our sites look and feel just like that. Let's get them into our site. Um, your upcoming tasks. When you talk to somebody and maybe they say, well, can you give me a call next month um, and I'll let you know a little bit more. There's a little section and when you open their name, you scroll down and you can say task or you can calendar and you can give yourself a reminder to follow up with this person. Uh, birthdays and home anniversaries. It'll tell you who's coming up with birthdays and home anniversaries. So in case you want to reach out or send them a card or, or something, it's reminding you. It'll give you your contacts, leads, numbers, comparables, you know, this time over maybe last week or over last month. And the same with your campaigns. What's going on this week versus last week? Um, all your listing alerts, neighborhood reports, market reports, quarterly reports, it's got stats on those, how many people are opening them, um, what's your percentage rate, and you'll be surprised. I mean, I think mine are sitting at, at the open rate the last time was something like 78%. That's unheard of. 
as an open rate. So that is a really, really good open rate. My listing views in the last six months, if you can go in there for all your listings and see what, how many views um, is that listing given? And, and you know, are you, do you have activity on it? And then I like the Google Analytics, um, sessions, visitors, time on site. It, it's a full on system that will help you keep track of your business. That's just the first page on the homepage. I mean, that, and, and I know it's kind of like, you know, drinking from a fire hydrant and say that, but it truly is. And, and if you've not logged into the VAC, get into it today, make it a habit every day. I'm going to get onto the VAC. I'm going to track my numbers. I'm going to add some contacts and I'm going to see what's going on in my business. I'm going to take control and actually treat this like the business it is and not as a hobby realtor. So that is the VAC home tab. Um, and we're going to talk about listings. And I know Rick Ruby commented about the listing. Um, I just want to make sure that you are ready to go. So if your phone were to ring today, I want you to ask yourself, if my phone rang and somebody says, hey, I'm thinking about listing my house, are you ready? Are you ready to say, hey, no problem? Uh, what time would you like to get together? We'll have a conversation, right? Do you feel comfortable via Zoom? Or do you feel comfortable in person? You're meeting your clients at their level. But step one is, are you ready? Now, just so you know, I have a few in my office of our listing presentation boxes. They look like this. And they have the listing contents. And in this particular one, it's got our Prestige Magazine. And the Prestige Magazine is a worldwide magazine. It goes all over the world. Um, and if you have a high-end listing for 100 bucks, you can put an ad in this presentation. But more importantly, if you don't, it's still, if you're going on a listing appointment, especially in a high-end home, you want to be able to show your client this is one of the mediums we use to advertise your home. We also have a full-on, nice package listing presentation already done for you. And this, you could get branded um, with your own personal information if you'd like. We've got the global marketing flyer that includes the Fortune magazine. We're number five in the world of most admired companies, as well as, you know, Warren Buffett. Um, we became the top home brokerage in the United States last year. And the marketing proposal. And I take all of this, and as an agent, I would always, always keep a minimum of five to 10 listing presentations on my bookshelf. You should have at least five of these put together on your bookshelf. You can call marketing or email marketing at marketing at bhhscaproperties.com. Tell them you want the listing presentation box and contents. You can even ask them to brand it for you and they will ship them here. I have a couple emergency supplies. Like I said, I just uh, have a couple. So if you get a phone call and you need it, come see me and I'll, I'll give it one and I'll just get mine replaced. But you have some of these ready to go. Last October, I sent you a list of links um, for your pre-listing that you can email out. That's always a good idea to do as well. If you don't have that link or you lost the email, let me know, I will resend it to you. But it's got the listing presentation, it's got the marketing proposal, it's got the AdWords video link, it's got the marketing to the global um, flyer as an issue, and it's got the Warren Buffett video. Um, one of the other things that a lot of our agents are using now are, is the book, the video book. And I know some of you have not seen it, some of you have, but this is the one when you open it up, it automatically starts playing. Right? And it, you can download up to five things on it. It's got a little USB port where you just plug this in, plug it into your computer, and you can download whatever links you want on it and take it to your listing presentation and, and show it that way if that's what you prefer. But be ready. Get your habits in order and be ready. You want to make sure that you're ready to go. So at this point, your phone rings. You've got your listing presentations. You've got your links online ready to go. Now all you need to do is run a buy side and a neighborhood report, and you're ready to go. And I like the neighborhood reports over a total CMA 
because it's interactive. Your clients can go in, look at the links, look at all the pictures, look at the videos. They can really compare their property to the others that have sold. So it, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful way to do it. And Brightside, of course, pulls in the, um, the values that the consumer is seeing from other companies. So that's really important, too, that the uh, uh, seller knows what the consumers are saying. So don't forget marketing. Here is the phone number for the marketing department. Um, you're, they're happy to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Schedule your appointment. Or again, you can email marketing at the HHRCAproperties.com. So does anybody have any questions on the listing or, or where to find it? I do. Yes, I do have. Hi, Ann. How are you? Cold. Up in Seattle. But... Oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't. In here right now. Um, a question. So, for this um, electronic book for the presentation, can we order them at marketing as well? The, uh, these ones. Yes. Yes, they're, I think these books are fifty-five dollars. Um, you you can have them download a couple of the links on them already for you, or you can download your own. Um, but yes, marketing. Just contact marketing and say I want a video book. And it's awesome, and you can just open it and play and volume and all that good stuff. I like having. I also have. I have the Warren Buffett video on it too. Yeah. Can we upload our uh, own video on it? I'm sorry. Can we upload a video of ourselves? Yes. Yes, okay. you can. As long as it's saved on your computer, it holds about five different videos. So uh, depending on the size, of course, but yes, any any couple minutes, three minutes videos, it's going to handle it just fine. Some agents are even uploading the whole listing presentation on here so they can just take the book, open it, and it's ready to go. And they don't, you know, they're not carrying around something heavy. So these are cool books to have. Awesome. Thank you. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Any other questions? Okay, I want you guys to be ready to go and be really confident about it. And if you're sitting there thinking, Gina, I've never even logged into the VAC, um, now's a good time to do it. If you don't know your login information, please do not be shy. Reach out to me, reach out to Imelda. We're both very happy to say, here's your login information. Let's get you in and get you set up. Um, the trainings, there are trainings. And if you go to the VAC, and click on calendar right here you'll see this is this week's calendar of events and you can see every day this week rick baruti has his um, real re success um, and this is the link to that class so um and it's from one to four every day this week every day is a different topic so if you missed yesterday don't worry you don't feel like oh gosh we'll never catch up yes you will you'll be fine uh, but there's also vac trainings um, today is the video licious. There's one for AdWords this afternoon. Um, the art of following up. Our drip system is phenomenal and it's got some great systems of following up with your client. So if, if you've not seen that one, hop on to that one tomorrow. They're designed for you to help you grow your business and they're only an hour. So you don't have to worry about, well, I just don't have time to spend the afternoon. They're nice little snippets there. Okay. Um, and then uh, that's for us. Do you have any slides, wants, or questions, or any I, you know, anything that you might want to share that'll help us um, either get more listings or overcome any challenges that you find yourself having out there right now? I, uh, I took a course yesterday on Instagram, and I know I'm way behind on Instagram. So I was going to profiles, and I had trouble um setting up profiles I, I keep getting my personal confused with my professional should i call instagram or it, should i call chris or who should i call to help me out well, what happened i didn't understand i'm sorry Katie. so I, I i've i've never done instagram by myself okay. so i decided to take a class in it yesterday uh -huh. so um i went to profiles and it seems like it's confusing my professional and my personal profiles. So I was wondering who do I call? Should I call Instagram people or Chris? Or who do I call to help me 
straighten it out? Are there, well, obviously not Gina. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking, I don't know. If we have any Instagram gurus, I would, I would probably start with Chris Weeder and see what he suggests. Okay. Uh, and then he might say, you know, no, this is an Instagram issue or a Facebook issue or whatever issue, but maybe he can help you weed out through that, some of that. Okay, great. And if he can't, let me know because I'll try. To, I'll find somebody who can. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Thank then. you. You're welcome. Good to see your face. Thank you, Gina. Okay. Who else has a question? Ellie. Ellie has one. Hi, Ellie. Hi. Hey, it's not a question. I just wanted to do a plug. Can I do a plug? Absolutely. Um, I have a listing for a, a four-bedroom, three-bath house in Bermuda Dunes. That's a pocket listing, so I can't really market it to anyone except my um, co-workers and colleagues and so uh, I've, I've shown it once here um, but it's, it's a price to sell and the, the house the house in the neighborhood sold for more than what it's listed at and it's a very nice house it's uh, listed at 525 three percent commission standard for the buying uh, the buyer's agent but uh, if you have any questions or you want to check it out I'd love for you to bring a buyer awesome I'd love it too <laughs> <laughs> Gina, Gina, it's Christine. Um, I took a listing yesterday in Shadow Hill, Sun City Shadow Hills. It's, yeah, it's in phase three, and it's uh, called the Embark model, listed for three nineteen nine. It'll be ready to show on Friday. Awesome! That's exciting. Congratulations! All right, somebody bring a buyer. Please, yes. Yeah. And Lance, you had a question. Why is it a pocket listing? Um, the seller has required it. They, they don't want signs. They don't want MLS. They absolutely don't want any, any, they just want Ellie or someone in Berkshire to bring a buyer. So that's a whole long story we're not going to get into on this meeting, but it is the seller's request. So that's a, a permanent, it's, it's never going to be on the MLS. It's not just the Correct. Correct. Well, you know, I sometimes use those SEOMs so they give the seller time to prepare the property for um, for market and to take pictures and, you know, prepare the listing. Uh, but uh, it's rare that I would keep it off the, list, the MLS altogether. I have one now that has a tenant in it. And until we get the tenant out, we, we considered marketing it internally. But even then, we can't show it until the tenant is out of there because one of them was exposed to COVID. So. At any rate, I do have a new listing I wanted to pitch. It's in, um, it's in Hidden Palms, uh, which is right around the corner from the office at Deep Canyon in 111. Uh, the address is uh, 44479 Con Circle, C-A-N-N-E-S, like the film festival in France. And it's beautifully remodeled. So you really should uh, take a look at it if you have someone interested. 37049 is the price. Awesome. About fifteen hundred sixty. That's let's get it sold. Get it sold. Working together, yeah. we can do it. Who else has a, a plug want or something they need to bring up? And we're good to go. Okay. Well, I'm certainly not going to keep you any longer. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Um, if you uh, remember, I've got actually, I I am working really hard to bring. Um, additional professional quality agents to our company. Um, don't forget about our profit builder program. I'd like to give you some money. It's been a lot of fun. That gets paid out quarterly. So it's a lot of fun seeing these checks once a quarter going out to all these agents who have so graciously brought people to us. So I want to say thank you for that. And, and it would really help me if you're in the middle of a transaction and you're working with an agent you think is a great agent. Um, just send me a quick text saying, hey, Gina, this is the person's name. Um, I think they're really great. And I'll just reach out to them and let, and let them know uh, that you've complimented them and, and uh, maybe we can set an appointment. That would be great. I know some of you think, well, why would I do that? I'm just bringing on more competitors. <laughs> well, they're already out there. They're already your competitors. Let's have them on our team, right? And if they're really good, um, it, it, it only enhances the brand. And uh, that's what we're trying to do is just bring some really great quality agents that's going to, uh, you know, we're all going to work together, get a bunch of listings, work together, getting them sold and, um, and, and just move forward, making this year great. So 
Thank you for everything that you do. I appreciate you. I am always here for you. My goal this year is to help you increase your production um, as much as you want to. Let me know what that is. And if um, you need, we can sit down and put a game plan together of how to go about doing that. So um, anyway, have a great day. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bye. Gina. <clears throat> Thank you, Gina. Thank you. Thank you, Gina.